Chuck Mortar here. Welcome back to our Darkest Dungeon Let's Play. Last episode, we've dwelled into our very first level 5 dungeon. Um, it was a short one, so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Uh, we got to fight some courtyard enemies, bloodsuckers. I uh, didn't get a single level 5 enemy from the cove itself, so that's uh, fairly nice, obviously, because it was a short mission. There was no secret room. We actually got a lot of money out of it, now that I think about it. We got around 14k and it was a short mission. Uh, that's uh, that's fairly good. And yeah, we got three people to level 6. Yertz is at level 5 now, one more short mission and he is all ready to go for Darkest Dungeon. We also got steady on Okaden okay, Null, which is really, really good. I'm uh, glad we rolled some traits on him in the cove there. Unfortunately, we got one Crimson Curse on Coastal Defense here, so kind of loses um, in the race for going into the courtyard. Well, maybe that was his idea all along. Who knows? And yeah, people to level 6. And we got on guard on Hellion on Yerts Pier. We lost Hard Noggin, which is unfortunate. That was the Best one here, yeah. Uh, best one overall, but but um, on guard is really good as well in its own right, so it's okay. Uh, obviously, could have been better, but it's just fine. All right, moving on. Uh, what do we have available for us this time? Thing from the stars in the wield, so probably won't be going there. Only medium missions for level 5s, so we're probably gonna be bringing the people who have the least EXP right now. And by the least, I mean everyone who is at level 5 and 0 EXP. I. <sighs> like, I could bring the level 4s in here. I think I should bring at least one. It's gonna push them to almost level 6. I could actually do a uh, level 3 mission though. Beast Slayer Ring. Do I have one? I do. What is the lost and found event? It's one free weapon upgrade. That's 4k gold. That's not terrible actually. I think that is what we actually want to do. Beast Slayer Ring obviously is pretty good, but this one not only has the event, also has the bus, which we kind of want right now. Berserk Sham is gonna get sold. Early decent, the early decent early game item, but right now it's uh, overshadowed by many better items. Alright, I think we're doing the cove with level three, still level four, as I, I suppose. Alright, that's uh, that's fine. And we actually have a uh, Vestal Healer as well. Alright, that's that sounds fine. Okay, Shimama's gonna go in there. Um, this one gives us 80 XP, so everyone is gonna get the level no matter who we pick. That's gonna probably be right hand. I would like to lock and clutter, but I don't really need to, so I'd say okay. I don't really have a stunner available to me, so I might just uh, push through this mission very quickly. Could go for the Gatling Gang again. I do have two Highwaymen. And they have some stuff to burn off, so I could do this. We already used this squad once like this, Gatling Gun. I'm think is this fine? I mean, what is the difference between these two? I feel like this is better. There was a reason I brought it like this last time though. I used it on the Miller mission. I don't know why I did it in this order though. Not quite sure actually. I mean, position 4 always took the least damage. I, su uh, I suppose this allows me for a point blank on turn one. There is only one issue with this team comp. 
Uh, it's the guardians. If they guard the back line, it's gonna be fairly bad. Where? What is the position of the tracking shot? All three forward positions. So I think I actually want to keep tracking shot here. And depending on the speeds, their early riser. So you want to be in position one and you're going to be using the tracking shot so everyone else can kill the back line, probably on position three if possible. Instead of, yeah, instead of point one, probably. Yeah, sounds fine. All right. Let's do it this way. Let's get done with the stress first, though. Spectacular is still a bit stressed. Uh, this is the only one who I'm going to treat, though. Happy Finn is still enjoying his time in the penance hall. All right, Spectacular. Let's get you treated. Let's get the diseases down. The tonight is gonna go. And let's lock some more stuff in. Definitely want photomania. So expensive. So, so, so expensive. On guard is really good to lock in as well. The monomania should get removed. Oh, happy Finn is gone, though. Yeah, I think it's gonna be... No, no not Demonomania. Uh, where's the other thing? On guard. Still expensive as hell. At least we're not spending money on equipment this time. Since uh, we're bringing level 4s into the mission and every level 4 is uh, ready for that. Nothing interesting. Alright, skills. I shouldn't need any. Fine, you're fine, you're fine and you're fine. Okay, equipment is also fine. Now let's embark. On this cove. It's unfortunately a gather mission, so I'm probably not gonna be taking any heirlooms from this one. That's okay, we, we just want the money, honestly. And I really want the secret room, like, really, really do. Alright, let's get this nice and ready. Where is the item? There we go. Uh. You're faster. You have more accuracy. Neither of you has any extra damage in this dungeon. Since you're the faster one, you're probably gonna be taking the candle because we want even more speed. And you're gonna be taking... Eldritch? Maybe you'll take the Eldritch to one-shot things. I already have the accuracy in level 3. Just to be able to one-shot with a lunge. I think with this item, I was already dropping the focus ring, so... Let's give you that thing. You, you want... I think I'm actually gonna give you Crescendo, and I'm not gonna care much about the... Uh, removing stealth. I want the book and the, the diary. The diarrhea. Okay, what what is the reason for you to be in position 3 instead of 4. Allows me for immediate double duelist advance instead of only being able to use one. If I outspeed, obviously. I'm speed 11, so I should. He's, this guy is speed 8, this guy is gonna be speed 10. I don't want the tracking shot to de-stealth, but... 
should be okay. The only issue is gonna be if we fight the guardians, but okay, that's the on that's the last wonky squad I'm gonna be using for level three missions. So, oh uh, wait, I don't need to leave everything. Everything else is set and ready. So, let's go in. Regular mission. Shovels. I do take bandages this time because I don't have a plague doctor. How many things to burn? Three. I'm getting more in case of fish carcasses and removing the dodge debuffs. A few keys. Holy water for the tentacle. This can have a very bad layout. Need to bring some bloods. Uh, looks just fine. I could bring another shovel because it's cove. There are the chests and the oysters. Sure, let's bring one extra. And uh, let's go. 55 scouting. Have it from Cove Scrounger here. And the book. Don't see any other one. All right. Let's go in, shall we? Probably the very last level 3 mission we're doing. Recover these lost okay, good layout. Of rarities. Let's we see how it goes. Even less scrupulous hands. I will take tracking shot. I will take tracking shots because I wouldn't want... Okay, yeah, okay. So it actually works better with tracking shot and hear me out why. If I'm in position 1, I, I have speed 10, so it's possible to outspeed the Grave Robber here. So if I don't... If I do outspeed Grave Robber, my choices are Wicked Slice. Is it Wicked Slice? Yeah, Wicked Slice, which is not bad, but I want to set up Duelist Advance, obviously. And the other option is Point Blank, but if I Point Blank, I move the other Hyoman into position 1, and if he outspeed as well, it's like I don't uh, get um, reposed on anyone. So, I, th and with this, I have tracking shot possibility, and that sets up the Grave Robber to kill the position 3 that's stealthed. Let's see how it goes, and there we have it. The exact scenario I was talking about. Now I can kill this guy. Obviously not guaranteed, but... Well, it might have been. I didn't actually look up the numbers. Really nice dodge. And as I've mentioned before, the only issue with this team comp is we don't have a single way of stunning. Well, I guess we do with Vestal. It's 90% odds on these guys, so it's okay. Repulse are obviously amazing against these enemies. I think I do Duelist Advance again. And hope I outspeed the Grave Robber so I can... Uh, well, I didn't, so... I'm gonna go for the throw. Damage is an irrelevant. Higher chance to crit and a good accuracy. That can stress heal us as well with the crit, so... It works out just fine. And I guess with... Um, tracking shot, I get extra damage. He did actually get hit. Nice. It's too low, too low of a bleed for me to care much about. Let's finish you off. Should have actually looked at the crit odds. Oh, an item. Pretty bad. If you don't go for the dodge, and lowering speed is uh, kind, of, kind of a Sudoku, honestly. Here comes the bloodsuckers. I gotta hit them. I would love to ignore hitting here and the uh, shadow fade so I can... Seriously. At least it was the one with uh, full HP. Really? Their uh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, I, I, I really want to clear out the courtyard. So much so since I'm fighting more and more of these. Maybe I should have looked for a standard to lower the chances of getting... A curse. Come on, dodge it. Nice! That's stress. 
Three crits in a row from these fuckers, seriously. Can't hit this. Okay, fine, I'm gonna do this just to lower it a little bit so maybe the other hangman can finish it off. It's not guaranteed, I'm gonna try for it anyways. I should do a list advance, I think. So the other one gets the option to do it next turn. He wants to do it next turn. And he, he should outspeed as well. This is not stunnable. Let's go for direct heal here. Come on, dodge it. Nice. That's fine. What is the debuff gonna be? That's the other one. I was thinking about the dodge debuff that he uh, inflicts. Let's kill you. Zoom TM. I want to do less advance here. We don't care here, so I can slice it up. Destroyed. Ingar doing it up. Nice. Stress heal as well. I'll take it. Keep on healing. You are very stunnable, though. Let's heal. I mean, the crit is nice, just a stress heal, but not on the, the, that target that I wanted. Grave Robber would have been the best. You have some protection, so pick to the face actually does something. Do less advance. I should be able to kill it without it, so I, I'm basically guaranteed to outspeed it as well, so... I don't need portraits, I do want crests, and uh, let's keep on chugging along. I'm tempted to camp here. But I'm gonna wait. I do need money. I think that holds enough value for now. Again, got the tracking shot in. We are speed 11, but we didn't get the outspeed, unfortunately. Let's do... Oh. Didn't expect that one. Maybe I get, get to kill one of the wide mouths here without it moving. If I get the high roll or crit. Nice. Decimated indeed. Now, I could heal. Okay, the... Or stun, that's perfect. That means I can AoE heal freely. If I got hit there, uh, I would have um, direct healed the grave robber there. Right. Doing it up. Gatling gun working just as intended. There's the fish carcass. Let's see if we get some gems. Uh, we indeed do. Now what do I drop for these? I think it's gonna be the holy water here. Let's bet on... Uh, uh, coral reefs and not tentacles. No crit scout. I think I will be camping in this room because of my inventory, the way it's looking right now. Oh shit. Well, this incentivizes me to camping. There's gonna be a lot of stuff. Oh, it, oh, well, it was a lot of stuff, but it was a lot of stuff that I already had, so that's good. Good surprise. Unfortunately, the maggots are gonna be very annoying. I think it's still fine to go for this, just to increase the damage. I really don't want the diseases. Oh yeah, pick to the face actually Another does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The protection removal or not carrying with the protection is nice. I'm gonna block the disease, hopefully. That was a guaranteed stun of the... No, it wasn't. 90% actually. Don't stun me. Oh, fuck. Man, focusing on the target of fire stress is so annoying. That's a very, very big crit there. Don't need to worry about diseases anymore. Now I have to get the goal down. Very likely that next turn it's gonna die. Of the blade, but I think we just heal it off. It is kind of speedy, this goal, but it's fine. We can take it down. Another Witch's File. Not a bad item. A very, very good early game item, actually, for the Plague Doctor. 
We had the Dazzling Charm, which is, as you've seen, 10% uh, stun chance. That one has S15 and no downsides either, so pretty good one. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for this one, because if this guy stuns me, it's gonna be super annoying. Yeah, I can still do this, and then I can do less advance it up. I, I might actually be able to kill it. Uh, it has to rely on the vessel getting a really high roll. But nice! Good job, Shimama. Do you have Warrior of Light by a chance? Oh, you have Eldritch Hater. That's why it was even the range to kill it. I think the range normally is 48. Right. That works out just fine. Nice crit. We want that stress lowered. Oh, I actually didn't want that to happen. We got a shoe. As victories mount, so too I'm, I'm pretty resistance. sure we're camping here. Too much, too much stuff to pick up. Huddled together. Full food. I mean, this shoe is Rats not a good item in its own right, but... Um, I don't need crest this badly, and I need the gold, so I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, one knight moves for secret room, and then double unpar unparalleled finesse, so I could take bandit sense, actually. And avoid the knight and ambush. I want, uh, I, I think I want Unparalleled Finesse on this guy. Because this guy is gonna be doing the, um, uh, what's it called? Tracking shot on the first turn, and this guy's gonna be attacking immediately, so that's a bit better this way, I think. And let's get the Bandit Sense. Obviously, I, I don't think I need Unparalleled Finesse. Wait. Why do I have this much still? Oh, it's only two. Okay, that works. To encourage. Okay. Perfect. Um, In radiance, may we find if you are, if you really need damage, obviously you want to do unparalleled finesse on both and hope not to get the nighttime item ambush fight. It's all of gold. Nice, nice, nice. Um, oh, now then. Huh. I actually really want to do this. But I have to do it on the way back. I really... Oh, shit. Because I already camped. I'm gonna be very stressed doing this. But we have double repost. And our team comp is very mobile. This is the team comp you want here. We probably want some stunner, but we don't have that option. So I, 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 I think I should do this. This could botch the dungeon. I want the map. I don't know how many items from Shambler there are, uh, there are that are left for me to pick up. That I don't have and that aren't map. I have to stay in this position. Tracking shot here. 10%. That's heal rather. Amazing crit. Can you do less than one front person before? Yeah. Oh yes. These these dodges are very big. <gasps> wow. Oh god. I I'm surprised that worked out so well. It is very beneficial to actually kill one at least per turn. So I'm gonna go for this here. Uh, How's the lowest roll, wasn't it? I need to be hitting the Shambler too, though. These are way more stunnable, and this is actually a kill if I if I take it. I really need the Duelist Advance, but I, I'm in a bad position here because of that shuffle early. Uh, that works. This rep I, I have point blank here, so I'm not. Oh, we got a kill though. That's fine. 
The only issue is the vessel in position one. I can't do anything there, but I can launch, so... There's no way to stun it, so it's not even bother of doing it. I have one riposte still up, so crit is annoying, but will work out, hopefully. Come on! Stop it! I don't know if Grave Robber can reach this position, that's why I went for that hit there. Yeah, I can't. I'm gonna hit this one, just so I have both low. There's no way to kill it, so I'm just gonna heal. Compassion is a rarity in the fever. This is, it's gonna die on this hit, so... Unfortunately, it still gets... Oh wait, it shouldn't get the... Yeah, it's not, it doesn't get the stress. We've established this some time ago. That if, you, if the target tries to stun you, or bleed you, or blight you, or whatever, and it dies during the attack, it doesn't get the stress. These nightmarish creatures... Ah, oh, man. They can be beaten. As the light gains purchase, this sucks. Spirits are lifted. Sucks a lot, actually. Clear. I mean, look, this is w less healing. What the? What does? I mean, who does this item in war? Oh, Crusader. That's the only class that can make full use of this. The healing on Crusader is useless. His healing is so low. Well, I mean. Like, if you really need to stress heal, you would probably take this, I guess. I guess this is this is an interesting option if you really want some stress healing in the dungeon. And uh, if you want to increase it. I think it's gonna... I'm dropping the cross. I don't need Warrior's Bracer. Good item early. Unfortunately, we didn't get the map still, so... Uh, the very beginning of the fight was, like, exceptionally... Going exceptionally well, uh, getting all these dodges it was really, really good. The the end of it was uh, getting kind of wonky though. There's a lot of dungeons still left for, for us. I really don't want to drop the torch. I think it's gonna be the boots. Obviously, I'll get to drop the torch at some point, but it's gonna be due to uh, using up the light, so that's the that's the okay way for dealing with it. I want to kill the nugget again. I know there's a trial. It's probably gonna get hit off on me. Actually, maybe not. Depends. Okay, come on, don't lower all me. Nice. Now, I would love to heal here, but I think stun is a better option if we get it. We didn't. That's very bad. Don't stun me. Good. Very good. This is higher crit chance. I want to lower the stress. That's why I'm going for it. That's annoying because this doesn't actually do damage, so it doesn't uh, do anything for the repost. Even the boldest gaze. All right, let's heal this time. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. All right, I should outspeed and kill it. Not getting any action, maybe some stress healing. Nice. I think I used the torch here and just take the gold and move on. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Glittering gold, trinkets and their torches. Okay, I I don't think we get the citrine though. We still have a lot of stuff in inventory uh, when it comes to the consumables. Uh, there's still a good half of the dungeon to go through here, so. Hopefully get to use it up. I feel affliction coming. I, I have to go for this hit. Got the highest roll possible. Obviously didn't get the kill, but 
Only crit would have gotten it there. Just don't crit me here. I'm gonna go for a heal. Stun is safer for not getting critted. It's a perfect target, actually. Thank you. Oh, yes. That, uh, that was exact kill as well. And he doesn't get the bleed because of die, dying. So that's nice. Oh, come on. That is so bullshit. And you know it. Well, we're definitely getting an affliction on the grave robber here. Uh... There's no other way around it. Like we're just gonna get the um, corridor stress and it's gonna push us over the threshold. Or is it merely Critical scout thing, still no secret mind. rooms. What do I drop for the gold? I just got the emerald too, so... I mean, I think it's gotta be the bandages, honestly. <laughs> it's it's very daring to do this. It's very fucking daring to do this. I can't drop the shot. Oh, five onyx already. To the brave and the foolhardy alike. I mean, it's more likely to stack than the sapphire. Can't drop the shovels. If anything, it's medicinal herbs. I would love to get rid of these quirks. Ay, 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 ay. Fine, I'm gonna drop the sapphire and hope for more onyx. I mean, I still have to uh, get two slots in inventory for uh, for the quest the items. Life, the promise of safety. All right, that's a guaranteed affliction here. Does this lower the chance? No. Okay. Does the matter which position I hit? Not really. I'm gonna do this and hopefully the launch kills it. Virtually guaranteed. Too low a throw wouldn't have done it. I'm not gonna Oh baby, a triple. A time to oh, that's a good one though. Direct uh, exact kill there. 95% for that stun. Come on, don't crit me. Come on, right hand. No. No. There can be no hope in this hell. This is so no bullshit. This is so fucking bullshit, and you know it. And yeah, mark yourself, you donkey. <sighs> At least I didn't get, didn't get the curse. So there's that. No, oh, come on, you're gonna die. And I don't get to heal right hand here. Well, I can't launch anymore. Remind yourself Are you fucking seeing this right now? And insidious killer. I can't. I, I can't. Also, we're sticking in this position for a bit. What do I drop here? Maybe I should be taking these on the way back. I mean, it's obviously a safer option. Alright, I, I suppose the, the, the gem would have gotten dropped either way. I would have done Another some other runner. drops, probably, if I had Another two of them. Fortune. I'll even go as far as saying that's guaranteed that uh, what would have happened there. But it's neither here nor there. We already have decent money with two emeralds, two rubies and five onyx. And three full stacks of gold, so... I do hope for an another secret room, obviously, but... We'll see, we'll see what happens. So we got fairly unlucky with the shambler happening immediately after I camped. I mean, I had the buffs, so that, that's a nice touch. I, I want to go there. I want more gold. Oh, 
And these foot pangs though. And I'm kind of low on light. Oh, that's a big one. That's de-stressing. And here comes the pain for not having the bandages anymore. <laughs> uh, this is actually a good decision to do it. Because both of these hit the back line. So I don't want to do less advance here. Of course, allow us target the size not to take the heal. It's gonna be very bad if he hits uh, Grave Robber here. Okay, we're lucky on this front. Because with the damage, the bleed puts me at Death Star and she would deny the heal. That's fine, I'm gonna just Shadow Fight here and fuck off. So this guy is guaranteed to hit the Vestal here. That's fine, I'm okay with it. Got another dodge, so that's perfect. Let's keep AoE healing because the high one wants it as well. But never hidden. Here is the bleed. We don't have a bandage, so it's so bullshit. Obviously, one health because if he was not one health, it would be way too easy. Uh, Vestal has to heal, so I'm gonna go for this. Nice crit. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna keep AoEing for now. I'll have to start direct healing this Hyoman though with this massive bleed. It's a nice touch with the crit. Oh, nice uh, stress heal as well. You don't need it, so I can go for direct hit. Nice. I'm gonna go for direct heal here. This is taking at least one more ping. Let's hope for a crit, maybe. Nice! That's perfect. Get to kill the guy as well. <laughs> Seriously. This dungeon is fucking trolling me. Don't know if I need the shovel, so I can't uh, toss it away yet. No, this lowers my stress. Not sure if I should use it on Rayhat here. Lowers our chances of getting Death Star. They're not Death Star, Heart Attack. But these guys are stressed as well. I think I sh should still go for it on Ray Hand, just so. Um, it's not as terrible. Actually, want to be in position four again for a little bit. Like yeah, this this maybe not be the best the best of decisions, but if I get the damage buff, because you can also get the damage buff instead of stress heal on that one, I get that higher of a chance to one shot the back lines, which stresses you. Um and it lowers significantly the odds of her getting uh 200 stress heart attack. So I'll I'll take it. Alright. No secret room. So I don't, I don't need the keys anymore for anything. Did I just eat two food? That doesn't seem quite right. The food things are kind of terrifying at this point. Let's get the stress even lower. There's only one more fight left remaining. Gonna be fighting it in low light. Actually, I don't need to fight it. I think I want then. Oh wait, we got a torch though. Fuck, I should have snapped the torch if I'm not fighting the fight. I think I'm not fighting it though. I don't need the keys, so I might as well drop these. I don't need the shovels. I might need the shovel. I don't know what the curio is. What is the curio? I don't need the shovel. Let's drop the shovel first. It's worth less. Now, 
Either way, I, I, I'm okay with using the torches. Okay, let's... I can still get some more... Oh, you can QE like this. Didn't know that. They have learned. I'm gonna go for this fight. I'm, st I'm still gonna have the light for it. I still have some inventory slots I can fill. If I don't get too many forced actions... Okay. No arterial pinch, so I'm fine with it. Set this guy. Right dodge. Uh, that's the probably best option there. Boris asshole. Uh, does this one matter? The Vestal can hit him then. What I should do instead is stun this guy. I'm, I'm stunning this guy, expecting him to have guarded this turn for the back line. Good dodge. I can still pistol shot. Oh, nice. Die. Oh. Oh, crit. So a lot of stress, though. Alright, kill him. One health, obviously. That would be way too easy. Uh, I could rely on the vessel going for the scale. No. I'm not gonna do it. The, the vessel might get outsped. Which would be terrifyingly bad. So... And the guy might guard, yeah, the guy might guard before the vessel gets to move, so I'm gonna pass on it. And there is the guard. Don't have a way of removing it. Oh, no, wait, I do. I lied. I kind of need to heal. I won't. I'm gonna lunge. Hopefully I will speed and lunge next turn. Oh, it's gonna kill itself, so that works. Tip the sky, lunge should finish him off. Oh, that's not lunge though. It's fine. Actually, yeah, let's just kill it. It has decent enough speed that I'd rather not risk it. And I can just pick to the face. It does way more damage in the lunge because it pierces the protection. So, we're fine here. I should try at the very end of this fight to snap the torch just before it's over so I get more loot, hopefully. I have no clue when it's calculated, but it feels like when you before you before the fight is over, if you snuff it just in time, you do get extra loot. But this might be me saying things. It's a nice crit. Oh, there's no way to kill there. Well, 33%. I'm not gonna take it. All right, don't get the bleed because he died, so it's fine. Get the stress, but. Right, the mission is done. But a victory, can toss both of these. I can't toss the food yet because we're I didn't snap the torch. Darkness <laughs> uh, the loot. Haunting the hearts of men. Drop the food or eat it. Whichever way you want to go, and uh, let's go home. Pretty short one. Got to fight the shambler though, so that's fairly nice. Uh, the money is not gonna be great. Ah. It's okay. Obviously could have been way better. We tossed two onyxes and two... Uh, two sapphires, so that's unfortunate. Unfortunate, But we got the mission done. Killed the Shambler. One more item down from him. Why didn't you level? Were you that low on EXP? Wait, I got six. Oh, because I did level three mission. I was thinking AD XP because... But it's not level five. Uh, Warrior of Light is definitely an upgrade over Backtracker. Scientific has to go, but Gambler doesn't matter, and Spasm of Entrails. Not terrible, but gotta go as well. Right, mission done. Tome, get one free weapon upgrade. Um, so, extra 4k saves there. And yeah, we'll go from here. But, this is where we're gonna be ending this episode. So, thank you everyone for watching. And see you next time. Bye-bye.